Hey guys, welcome to the JJ Talk. I'm Susie. I'm Macy. And welcome to episode motherfucker three! Three, man! Alright, let's see. Today we're going to talk about abuse and period sex. Oh, Alright, let's start off with abuse, because I don't think I can handle that menstrual bullshit right now. <laughs> Alright, so, our input from Sergio Fuentes, our favorite. Um, as far as abuse oh. goes, I think it's wrong for people to harm each other physically nowadays because we're not fighting over fire or cave, but I digress. Personally, I would rather get hit than not be touched at all, preferably around, around the penis, penis area. area. That's, That's really attractive, Sergio. Yeah. Yeah, that really is. And that guys, warmed my soul. Speaking of kicking in the um, area, yeah, it does hurt for us. Thanks very much. Pelvic bone. Yeah, it hurts. Not maybe not as bad, but still fucking hurts. It still hurts. Yeah. Anyway, I have something to say about abuse. It hurts. Don't abuse your girlfriend. Don't abuse your boyfriend. Don't abuse your boyfriend. Especially, but guys. You don't know what that feels like when a man puts his hands on you. It's just, it's, you know it's degrading. It's, it's demeaning. It's horrible. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Okay. How about we stop talking about abuse now? Alright, on to the next subject. Period sex. Period sex, to me, I believe period sex has got to be the most vile, disgusting act on the face of the fucking earth. I've done it. I'm sure you have. It is the best thing on earth because when you're on your period, you have raging hormones. Definitely. Yes. And then eat chocolate. It's like <laughs> even better penetration. That is so fucking foul, dude. Because no, this is foul. No, okay. What you don't understand though is that period blood is not just blood. It is Dried coagulated. Blood. It's coagulated uterine lining and made of dead cells. If anybody didn't know this, period blood, what it smells like, that's what dead bodies smell like. Yes, it's yeah. fucking disgusting. It's, it's repugnant, is what it is. But one time, when I lived in Florida, this guy. I tried to convince him not to for like a half hour, but he insisted he wanted to eat me out on my period. Yeah. Oh! Everybody in the living room was like, ew! Dude, that made me fucking shudder, man. That um, was so fucking He fun. liked it, so I let it. It was the most amazing thing ever. Where's Nate? I don't know. I don't care. There's more on abuse, isn't it? Oh, we have a miscellaneous. Oh, actually, yes, we have to discuss um, our see. buddy. Sergio, he says, do a segment about what it's like to have sex with me. And hype it up. Okay. Anybody, Sergio. anybody who didn't already know that I had sex with Sergio, thanks for that, you Mexican bastard. Now the whole world knows. And if uh, anybody didn't know that I had sex with Sergio, Susie, I had sex with Sergio too. Susie, who didn't you have sex with? Me. <laughs> and Brandon. <laughs> and Megan. And me! Yes. <laughs> Make yes. up for it though. Anyway. Thank God. Oh, and Sergio, oh God, your fucking dick is tiny. It's okay. tiny. Okay. He used to walk around the house on Third Street saying, "I got the penis of a ten-year-old. I got the penis of a ten-year-old." <laughs> like it was like the best thing on earth. Like no, that's not okay. cool. Okay. Okay. I enjoyed fucking Sergio. I had fun with the cling wrap and the scrunchie. Thank you very fucking much. <laughs> I had an awesome time. All right, but you know we're we gotta wrap it up now because our cameraman's telling us we're out of time. Yeah. We love you, especially you, Sergio. Even if you have the penis of a ten-year-old. <laughs> Goodbye. Next time on the JJ Talk, we talk about badge exercises and toys. Stay tuned.